Hello, fourth grade. Welcome to another asynchronous recorder lesson with Mr. Moppet. I'm in a slightly different environment right now due to the snowstorm, but we're going to deliver the same A plus content that we've always been trying to strive for anyways. This is our fifth song for recorder we're going to do today. And this one's titled Old MacDonald Had a Farm. There's a few unique things about this piece. Um, one of them is it's the longest piece we've tried so far. It's 16 measures long. So if a measure is four beats long, this has 64 beats in it. That's a long song. So it's quite a bit longer than anything we've done. So when I put it up on the screen, it's pretty much going to take up the entire screen. So when you're playing this, you will hear me, but you won't probably see me. Now, the main melody of this is um, a tune that we are really familiar with. There's lyrics, there's words to it. You've probably sang it or hummed it or heard it on cartoons or just various other places. I'm going to invite a special guest artist to play just the main theme of this tune. And she's a fourth grader named Claire. She's my daughter, and she's a musician, and she is, um, besides playing recorder, she's, she plays piano. So here is Claire playing the main theme for Old MacDonald at a farm. Okay, I think she did a great job on that. Hopefully you guys were able to recognize the tune from hearing Claire play it. There's a few new things in this we have to talk about. Number one is there's a new note called a D. And it looks like this. You can see on your screen, D is below the staff. So that phrase, every good boy does fine, or face for notes in a space, doesn't work for the note D. You just have to memorize how it looks. And you can see it's right below the bottom line of the staff. Every time a note sits right there below the staff, it is a D. And it sounds like this. It's important to blow really gently and be careful with your air pressure and with your finger placement because if you don't cover the holes, it won't come out. Too curvy is problematic. Flat fingers are the way to go. And notice I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So there's seven holes I'm covering. Six in the front and seven on the back. So that's our new note D. We have that in this on measure one and then it comes back again and again. Another new thing in this piece is a quarter rest. As you can see on your screen, a quarter rest is a squiggly, weird looking kind of a shape. I don't know who designed it, but it's a very unique looking shape, but it's very, very common in music. Whenever you have one of those, you stop for one beat or for one count. So if you're playing three quarter notes and one quarter rest, it sounds like this. Rest rest. So it's this moment where it's one beat of silence and it's a good opportunity for a woodwind player or a wind player to get a breath. So whenever I have a quarter rest, I go ahead and just get a quick breath of air so that I could go on and continue with the music. And the last new element to this piece is the dotted half note. As you can see, the dotted half note is a hollow note head with a stem and a dot. That note equals three counts. So when you play it, you have to hold it for one, two, three, off. You get dotted half notes in Old MacDonald Had a Farm on the very last note, it looks like, and that's the only time you have it. So at the end of the piece, make sure you remember to hold it for three full beats. I'm going to go ahead and try to demonstrate the whole piece of music for you right now. Now, it is on Google Classroom under your assignments. So take a look at that section and you can get a full copy of this on your own. But I'm also going to go ahead and put it up on the, on the screen right now. So here we go. Old MacDonald had a farm. One, two, ready.
Okay, how'd you do, everybody? Were you able to keep up with me? Were you able to play the same rhythms I was playing and the same fingerings? Maybe, maybe not. If this is new for you and it might feel slightly complicated, go back and try again. You could actually rewind the, the movie and back it up a little bit and try a few more times. I'm not going to record this multiple times because it takes about a minute to play it. It takes a long time. It's very long. So instead of me keep playing it over and over again, you could go ahead and rewind, give it a try, practice it slowly. Remember, that's really important. The speed I went was, I would say, medium. It wasn't fast. It wasn't like, and it wasn't slow, which would be like, Now, when you're first learning, you may have to go that slow just to get your fingers to do what they're supposed to do, to find the holes, to play the proper notes, and also to play the rhythms accurately. In the third line, it starts getting very eighth note heavy. These eighth notes keep coming. In particular, line three, measure three. It's all on a G in the third measure of the third line, but there's all these eighth notes bouncing around, the notes that have the beam connecting the stems. That's a challenging part rhythmically. So you may wanna take that slowly and just go through it really carefully. I'm actually gonna clap line three if you'd like to clap it with me, and I'm gonna put it up on the screen right now. So try and stay with me. Here's the third line of the piece. One, two, line three, go. One, two, three. Four and one, two, half note. One and two, three and four. One and two and three, four. Did you stay with me? Hopefully you did. If you can clap it, you could probably play that because almost every note is the same. It's a G, except a couple Ds where you jump down to our new note. Remember, that's everything down in both hands. Please make sure, by the way, when I have both hands, I'm using the right hand low, left hand high. Okay, we're going to do this when we resume our live sessions. So hopefully you'll get to practice this in the meantime and try to learn it, try to master it. Play it for your parents. Play it for a brother or a sister. Put on a little concert. By now you might have five songs you can play because we've done It's Raining. We've done a bunch of other ones. So you're learning this whole book of songs and have fun with it. But make sure to work at it really hard until you feel like you have it down. Okay? Good luck, everybody. I'll see you soon.